Fifty Monuments in Fifty Voices The Virgin and Child from the Victorian Reredos by the very Reverend Dr David Ison, Dean of St Paul's. In a corner of the cathedral, on a plinth donated by the Middlesex Regiment, stands the statue of a mother and child. It was sculpted by a French artist, Jean Guillemin, and was a prominent figure near the top of the massive Victorian screen, called a Reredos, behind the high altar of the cathedral, which was installed amid some controversy in 1888. In the picture you can see how high off the ground it was near the very top and difficult to see, over 20 metres above floor level. In 1951, the Reredos was removed, but this lovely marble statue of Mary and the child Jesus was kept, and then put in the Middlesex Chapel in 2016. How do we encounter this statue of Mary and Jesus now? It's been brought down to earth, no longer high above our heads, not surrounded by other statues and stonework, we encounter Mary and Jesus face to face, in a way not imagined by its sculptor, yet a way which fits with the Christian story of God coming down to our level in Jesus. But we're also face to face with a white woman and white child. This is a sculpture created in and for a particular English cultural setting. Mary and Jesus were not white, they were Palestinians. Just as European Christians have imagined Mary and Jesus as being like them, so other cultures around the world have pictured Mary and Jesus in their own image. In Christian understanding, so they should. God is no respecter of race, education or attainment, and God's image is in every human being. All of us can identify with the image of mother and child, but we imagine it in different ways. St Paul's has a variety of depictions of Mary and Jesus to complement this statue. There's a black Madonna breastfeeding in Bill Viola's video artwork about Mary at the end of the North Choir aisle. Nearby is an abstract mother and child sculpture by Henry Moore. A few years ago, we displayed a street art picture of a refugee mother and child as a focus for prayer for asylum seekers in distress. Down in the crypt, there's another mother and child sculpture in a corner of the OBE chapel. These different images don't contradict each other, they complement each other. They remind us that in a very diverse world, where difference can seem threatening, we share a common humanity on the same level. All of us come into being as a child of a mother, and mother and child invite us in to the Christian vision of St Paul's Cathedral that love is the theme tune of the world and that God's arms are open to include us all and welcome us home.